It is the Red Zone Challenge, and it's brought to you by our friends at California RV Outlets and Fred Bruin Realtor, fredbruin.com, californiarvoutlets.com. Let's get it on. It's week eight, and this is how it sits so far. Angel from California RV Outlets and Jeff are running away with this thing. No, not really, but they are up 16 to 8. Congratulations, gentlemen. I'm back at 13 and 11, and Fred won back at 500 at 12 and 12. Welcome to the program. Let's do the picks. Gentlemen, how do we feel after week seven? Eight, you mean? Week eight? Yeah, this is week nine. Oh, this is week yeah. nine. You're right. I'm a week <laughs> off. Sorry. That's why your, your record shows it. <laughs> Shut up, Jeff. All right. How do we feel after week eight, guys? Oh, what what a great what a great season! Lots of fun football. This has uh, <laughs> been a lot of fun. This is a Cowboys fan speaking right now. Now let's hear from the Chargers fan. <laughs> well, yeah, I tell you, it's uh, it's been interesting. Uh, my overall picks on the Red Zone Challenge, uh, you know, is floundering. So it's uh, it's been interesting. Let's move ahead. <laughs> All right, well, let's uh, let's look let's at some news here. Throw out here. the spreadsheets and go with your gut. Yes. Let's uh, let's hold on a second. Uh, I just lost that. Uh, veteran quarterback Blake Bortles is flying to Green Bay. That he is going to sign with the Packers. That might be coming off news that Aaron Rodgers is supposedly going to be sidelined this week, gentlemen, because of COVID-19. Um, now, Saquon Barkley also... Uh, apparently they only- had a positive test, but they're saying he'll have an opportunity to test negative twice before Sunday to play. But uh, they, we didn't get the same message on Aaron Andrews. I'm sorry, Aaron Andrews, on Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> I'd like yeah. to see Aaron Andrews play quarterback, actually. For the I'd like to Packers. see Aaron Andrews do anything. Um, so, I like watching Yeah, <laughs> so they must only carry two uh, quarterbacks on their roster, and they need somebody to come in in an emergency if Bryce Love goes out in that game. That game was going to be featured in our picks, but we figured with all the uncertainty going on around surrounding Aaron Rodgers not starting, we were just not going to touch it. So we pivoted and uh, with one of your favorites uh, this season, Fred, and the Carolina Panthers. Who have... Yeah, thank you very much. I think all of us, though, have been burned or bitten the ass by the Panthers uh, throughout the season. Like, we well, either, if, you, if you pick them, they, they lose. If you don't pick them, they win. Yeah. All right, well, let's get into the picks uh, this week then. I mean, there's a lot of news that's floating around the NFL, but really for what we're talking about today, there's only uh, three matchups that we're concerned with, and we'll start with the Chargers traveling to Philadelphia to take on Jalen Hurts and the Philadelphia Eagles. Chargers, a a one-and-a-half-point favorite on this one. This is the order today. It'll go Angel, Jeff, Jeremy, Fred. Angel, who do you like in this first matchup? You know what? I got to tell you, uh, this this was a tough one for me because I think Justin Herbert's a better quarterback than the last couple games. Uh, Jalen Hurts uh, is uh, kind of coming into his own right now. Uh, he presents a problem, I think, uh, that the Chargers have seen with mobile quarterbacks. I'm going to go with Philadelphia to eat this one out. Wow, that would be three in a row uh, in games that they were supposed to win for the Los Angeles Chargers, the other Los Angeles team, as they're referred to in certain circles around SoFi. Um, I'm going to go with the other Los Angeles team because I've been going with them all season, even though it's kind of hurt me in recent weeks. I think they get right this weekend against the Philadelphia Eagles. Yeah, I agree with that. I'm going to go Chargers as well. Fred, how do you see this one playing out? Remember, uh, Chargers, your Chargers are a a one-and-a-half-point favorite in Philly. Yeah, Um I think that uh, I think that Philly's going to run the ball right up our gut. We got uh, <laughs> our run defense to score dead last. Yeah, it's not good. And uh, you know, a Philly's passing game it sucks, but they don't need to throw the ball. So they're just going to run the ball, run, 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 control the clock, and gain a ton of yardage. Uh, but I'm still going to pick L.A. because I, I don't like being conflicted when I'm watching the game. There you go. <laughs> Even if it means. You know, Seth came in here the other day and he said something and that it made a lot of sense. And he goes, here's the thing. If you pick against your team, when they win, you're happy. And if they lose, you know at least you got your pick right. <laughs> uh, next up, <laughs> Cleveland traveling to Cincinnati to take on the two-and-a-half-point favorite Cincinnati Bengals. How do you see this one playing out there, <clears throat> 
I don't see this playing out very well for our friends in Cleveland. I think uh, Cincinnati's a division game. This is a statement game. They be, Cincinnati's pulled off some big wins uh, this season. I think Cincinnati is going to uh, 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 play lights out here and beat Cleveland. Yeah, there's some circling rumors about Odell Beckham being unhappy with the team. I think he didn't practice yesterday, I apparently. think that's going to be a... Um, a distraction, an unnecessary distraction. I don't know. They're banged up. Cleveland is banged up, banged up. Cincinnati is coming off an embarrassing loss, probably the most embarrassing loss of the season. And this is their, their ass kicked in practice this week, I'm sure. Um, therefore, I think they'll get right. And, uh, and unfortunately for the Browns, it will be um, on because uh, it will be a, a division game in which Cincinnati will come away with the victory. Agree with everything you guys said. Fred, where are you at on this one? I like Cincinnati as well. You like Cincinnati? Okay. Uh, so I'm going to be the lone wolf. Go. Uh, I'm going to go with Cleveland. Break out the howl. Cleveland. Oh, we didn't get a howl I'm... from Angel on the first round. Oh, yeah. yeah. You guys can do it together if Here you'd you like. Go. On the count of three. Yeah, I'm going <laughs> to. <laughs> <laughs> You've been working on your howl, Fred. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we're all going Cincinnati except for Fred. He is the lone wolf with Cleveland, and we f- move up to our final matchup. Uh, New England traveling to Carolina. I'm really excited for this game. I, I still, well, we'll get to my pick in a minute. Uh, the Patriots are a four-point road favorite. Now, McCaffrey apparently is practicing, but we don't looks know. Looks like he'll play. Looks like he'll it play. looks like he's going to play, though. Yeah, as of now, it looks right. like he's going to play. Um, uh, and because of that, that doesn't make it much of a difference. You know what? This is a revenge game for Stephon Gilmore. I'm going to go. Wait a second. Uh, it's Angel's turn. Oh, sorry, Angel. It's okay. I like, I like everything you're saying, except <laughs> I think the X factor here is, is, is coaching. And I think yep. it's uh yeoman style work. And you know, Mac Jones is proving to be a, a good pick. I, I, I've been watching his, uh, his game the last few weeks and, uh, you know, he, he came into a, a little uh, Charger stadium. It played the Chargers well, and uh, I, I didn't mean to. I, I meant to do that, Fred. I'm sorry, uh, but uh, but, uh, but but I, I I like to see New England here. I think systems matter. I think coaching matters, and I think Mac Jones will come in and uh, play a consistent game where Sam Donald has been too inconsistent to bet on. I already started saying the reason why I'm going to pick Carolina. I, I, Sam Darnold is the X factor that scares the crap out of me on this one, and that's probably why New England is a four-point favorite in this one. But it's at Carolina, and I think New England's streak of games has got the streak of success has to come to an end at some point with a rookie quarterback, and I think Carolina will figure out a way to scheme them. Plus, their defense is playing a lot better in Carolina in recent weeks. Uh, let's see here. Sam Darnold. Sucks. <laughs> I, I was like, uh, let's, let's look at Sam Darnold he's in no just good. the last couple he's of games. No good. In the last couple of games, he threw for under uh, 300 yards combined. He threw for 112 against the Giants and 129 against Atlanta, uh, which he should, have, he should have had no problem with. So, yeah, I... I, I I don't believe in Sam Darnold. I don't believe in Carolina. I don't care if McCaffrey comes back. I agree with you, Angel. This is all about Bill Belichick, and he knows how to shut down offenses. I like the New England Patriots in this one, Fred. Yeah, I like. Uh, I think these teams are pretty evenly matched, uh, other than uh, Carolina's defense is playing exceptionally well. But Carolina also likes to give the ball away. They're ranked 26 on giveaways, and uh, New England's ranked 6 in taking the ball away. So I'm going to go with New England. All right, you're the lone wolf, Jeff. Let's hear it. There it is. Angel, um, I, this is always the most stressful time of year for my grandpa when I was growing up because he had to winterize the motor home. Is that a problem here on the Central Coast? Because I grew up in Washington. You know what? It, it does get cold, and our service departments are here to help. So you can call any of the store, and uh, they can get you scheduled in for a winterization special. Um, to, to get that taken care of. But people are still camping more now than ever, especially uh, when they uh, look at the, the travel mandates with masks and sitting on a plane, which I just had to do to Alabama for 10 hours, uh, fun. You know, plus the airport time with a mask on. So everybody seems to like the idea of being in their RV 
and uh, you know social distancing on their terms. So it's still a great time to buy. Hey, do you uh, do you guys rent RVs there too? We don't. We okay. don't rent uh, currently, you? but we do sell them, and you can rent them for 180 months at very low. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the thing: I'm, I'm a tent camper. <laughs> But with these fire bans, it gets really cold. I mean, they won't even let you have a propane fire pit at a lot of our campgrounds. So buy an RV. Getting it's an RV than renting. It's and turning the heat on is going to be way more comfortable. Well, and we've talked about it before. Heavy if you, sleeping if you buy an RV right now, you, we live in a place where people like to vacation and there's a shortage of lodging. There are services in which you can use your RV as an income generator. No, I see it. And actually, I was just talking to one of the guys that we works in the building here. Uh, not on this radio station, but one of our other ones, and this is what he does. He travels, and then he rents it out, and he sets it up for people like an Airbnb, and he says it pays for itself. So uh, it's something to look into. California RV do. Outlets. We have a lot of customers doing that. CaliforniaRVOutlets.com. You're in a Tascadero. You can see him there right off the freeway. And, of course, Fred Bruin. Real estate in real time. FredBruin.com. Angel, if you were going to buy one RV on your lot right now, that um, that uh, for yourself, I would I would say it would be the new the new Heartland Hitch. It's a about seventeen foot, weighs around thirty five hundred pounds. It's around uh, about one hundred and ninety dollars a month uh, on approved credit, and uh, very reasonably priced, very lightweight, easy to tow, fiberglass unit, really nice little trailer. And uh, what what what's the smallest car you can see towing that without a problem? Oh, you could probably use a, a, an Outback. Uh, some of the Subaru Outbacks have a, a, a thirty or, or an Ascent has like a three thousand five hundred pound tow rating. Wow! Okay. Just to give you an idea of how that trailer could be towed. A lot of cars would tow it. All right. We uh, do. Well, gentlemen, good luck this weekend, Fred. All right. Thanks, guys. You need the you need the most luck. I don't want to see you fall behind below five hundred. Okay. I got my fingers crossed. All right. All right. There he goes, Fred Bruin. FredBruin.com. If you're looking to buy, you're looking to sell, give Fred a call. Real I'm estate working. in real time. And uh, California Outlet Outlets. Don't forget, you can win $1,000 from our friends at California Diesel and RV. If it runs on diesel, they're your people. They put up $1,000 for our winner, as well as a 50-inch flat-screen TV and soundbar from Coast Electronics. A really good prize this year for the winner. You guys should be playing if you're not playing right now. Go to KZLZ.com. And you can play every week and win $25 to go to the Poor House. They're in Paso Robles. They'll make some poor decisions there. Why do you say Paso Robles like Elmer Fudd? I don't know. They're in Paso Robles. El Paso de Robles. Is that better? You like that? I know you like to dress fancy. it up a it's little. It's a fancy place now. <laughs> Trip to Hawaii and more, but you got to play. KZLZ.com. Want some bragging rights? Thank you, Captain Obvious. Jeff and Jeremy's Red Zone Challenge is on at KZOZ.com. Presented by California RV Outlets and Fred Bruin Realtor. Bring the energy! Stack up the season top score and level up your game time with a sweet new 50-inch TV and soundbar from Coast Electronics. And $1,000 cash from California Diesel and RV. Plus, be the MVP of the week. Backed by popular demand. I love this. Win the week and you rule with shout-outs and your favorite classic rock band playing every weekday at 820, 1220, 520, and 720. Score 25 bucks to the Poor House in Paso, too. I love every part of it. Jeff and Jeremy's Red Zone Challenge from Fred Bruin Realtor. Sellers are seeing multiple offers on their homes. Buyer demand is high. Ready to sell? Make this market work for you. Call Fred Bruin, 805-235-4681. License number 0096980. 867 since 1987. 93.3 KZOZ rocks your football season. Oh.